Hey there, hello, hello there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond, welcome you to the tournament of 1927. This is the final tournament! We'll have our 128th guy in the name. So we have some Americans, we do have people from different countries. But what? We have 13 foreigners. And I believe that France is the only country that has multiple. France? Yeah, France has two, and other foreign countries only have one guy in the ring. Australia is hoping for Jim Scanlon to do well, because if Scanlon wins, then they tie Ireland for second in the Nations Cup rankings. So, let's see. Cuba has a fighter. They're looking for their fourth to actually try to jump into the top three. Canada is looking for their second winner. I think that would be basically a chance for Canada to probably get in at the wild card. So, you get the top eight spot. France has two fighters. They're looking for their fourth to tie Australia for third and force a tie break. South Africa is looking for... South Africa's got two fighters. Sovel and Patello. If South Africa wins, they will make things a little interesting. It would make only seven of the 16 spots in the Nations Cup be on that qualified, and then there will be nine matchups. Germany's got a guy, Axel Schultz. Germany only has two winners. They want to get to three and maybe get that coveted top eight spot, that means they will be qualifying for it. Australia's looking for their fifth to deny Ireland the two seed. New Zealand is looking for their first champion to break up the monotony, the 25th country. Panama has a cha has one champion. Phil the Philippines has... The Philippines doesn't have a champion? Wow. No pack. Oh, no. One. Philippines have one themselves. Italy has... Three, they're looking to get four and tie for third. And Mexico has two, only two. So we will get to the semis in the final right about now. All right, so here we go. We got ourselves the match. For semifinals, he's Charlie Phil Rosenberg and Robert Villemain. So U.S. and France will be fighting it out. Now, I did fill 1927 fighters with six fights or five fights and four fights. But then it, it came to me, I need to fill out and have a lot of guys who have had six fights who have not, who haven't hit the seven mark yet. But Charlie Phil takes on Phil Amen. From Champions Field in the United States, Luis Pablon, your referee, Pork Dong Ong, Canada, and Watson, your judges, and Danny Callahan, the ringside expert. So France takes on the United States. Charlie Phil Rosenberg. He fought in 1927, so he... Got in legitimate. 38, 19, and 11. World Bantamweight Champion. His mark. He beat Ushidon before losing to Harry Wills and Todd Morgan back to back. Then he beat Elgie Clark and Leo Waugh, Canadian, losing to George Manley. And then he decided to lose Golza. He killed Paul Bergenbach and Ad Robindo. Berlinbach. So I think he's faced three straight Americans. Robert Philemon was from the 40s, but he was. He was, I think, 3-3, three and three, so he got in on the seventh fight on the wildcard rule. So Philemon got in. 52-7-4, the French welterweight champion. He lost to Fern Lester, and then he beat Shirai, Quinn Kung, and Philly Kong Graham before Rocky Graziano KO'd him. That was a long time ago. Then he lost to Frankie Fernandez. He got a disqualification over Tobella. A technical win over Axel Schultz, and a split decision on Fidel de Barbara. So that's a huge one. To be sure. So South Africa may have Germany, I know for sure now be that they are only at two. So Germany cannot get that top eight spot. We'll see what happens. William Villeman.
Let's get a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Judges votes are in, and here, ladies and gentlemen, is your winner. Well, it looks like Bill might have this one. It looks like it. I mean, we have a bleeding of the lip on Charlie Phil Rosberg, his right eye skull. So, I wouldn't put it past them to give Phil Amain the win. Well, let's see what the scorecards are. The Korean puts at 144-141 for Philomene, so that's huge. Kanyano Japan scores about 143-143, even. What? Nice. And Watson puts about 143-141 for Philomene. Pass me. Yep, Philomene. Bad luck for Rosenberg. And Philomene might give France their third win, their fourth winner, and will decide a tiebreaker for the three seed. Six and three each, but Philomane with a big win. Well, 90% on his hooks. But the punching accuracy was there, but the knockdown might have helped. And the cut, too. And our second semifinal seeds. Wesley Rainey and Solani Patello. So the, so the South African, who was four and two and got the benefit of a doubt to get into this tournament, might get to a second final and give South Africa it. Rainey is American. So the only hope for a foreign country is France winning their um, fourth to tie Australia for third, which would mean that it would be a tiebreaker to decide who gets the three seed. Or South Africa getting being the 25th country and forcing seven countries to get five instead of eight. We'll see what happens. We'll flip and check the forest from the Van Ardell Arena. Derek Milham, your referee. Joe Horn, Anika Williams, and Harold Barnes, your judges. Rocco Del Sesto, your ringside expert. So, key moment. Rainey from the United States. He was, was he from 19? Oh, he was, from, he was in the 30s, so he wasn't eligible in 1927, but he was in because he was 3-3. Three and three. 152, 20, and 14, inducted into the International Boxing Hall of Fame in 2013. He lost to Al Gaynor, he beat Tommy Freeman, then he lost to Eddie Cool, then he beat Anton Christopoulos and Turkey Thompson, but lost in the third round to Lulu Constantino, and then he beat Jim Scanlon, putting the Kiwi out of action. He decisioned Tommy Freeman and put a decision on Matt Adji. Matt Adji, that would have been the weirdest person to get in. Well, one of the weirdest. And the South African Patello, who was the minimum weight champion. Who went all the way to the final a while ago, but we losing to Bruno Gerard by KO. Then he beat Real Perez, Malinga, Malinga, and Bruno Jones. He lost by split decision to John Haynes and then got back, luckily, at 4 and 2. He KO Jerry Powers. He put a split decision on James Braddock. Wow. And he KO'd Luigi Mangillo. Getting Italy out of the way. Here we go. Patello and Remy.
After eight rounds, Patello is winning, but that cut is going to be Leaving Pat's gonna win Patella. Mm -hmm. Well, and Remy gets Patella by that bleeding cut. So Patella had a chance to give South Africa some hope. Where am I on? Whoops. Sorry. Still hurts. It was tied. I think Remy had it. So Wesley Remy. Takes down Patello, the straw weight. Ooh, 3626. I think Remy might have had it. So now it's Remy, the lightweight, gets the middleweight rubber filament. Now, France wins. If Philly May wins, that's France. France and Australia will have to go to a tight break to decide who the three seed is. Now, the problem is going to be who's going to be the eight seed? Who's going to qualify? Well, you need two. Because we have seven countries with three wins, that is it. We need. So the top eight would get a seat. So the eight seed would automatically get a buy, and then there would be 16, max, 16 teams going for eight spots. So Mexico, Germany, um, I'll give us three. Yeah, give us three. Come. Korea, Thailand, Japan, and Wales. So six countries will be fighting for that eighth and final spot. The tie break will be based on the the records of the winners. The two guys who have won, the, their combined records, winning percentage will determine who will be the eighth seed. Now, in case of a tie, then we go to the next tie break, which is the bet your your highest rated fighters, their combined winning percentage and all that. So one of the six countries I talked about, Mexico, Germany, Korea, Thailand, Japan, and Wales, one of those will get in with a buy, the other five will have to go through qualifying. But they will get they'll get to pick their countries. I don't know. But anyway, get this underway. Derek Milham, the referee, Gil Van Hoy, Cesar Robos, and Marcos McDonald, your judges, Don Costa, your ringside expert. I think it's going to be Bill and Main. I want to see if France can jump into that three seat.
So if you're halfway through the fight, we have the 7874 fulfillment. Can he hold on? He's like, can he hold on? Can he hold on? They must be changing the purpose. I don't know why they didn't Getting up swollen. Who's gonna be the last one? Who's the last airbender? The judges say, well, the unofficial scoring says, fill them in. Well, the Frenchmen take this one to the bank and give a tiebreaker situation with Australia for third. We know US is number one and we know Ireland's number two. So will France sneak their way into the three because of fill them in? I hope so, but you never know. Oh, Ben Hoy, US, 143-143 for Ramsey. Ramos of Puerto Rico scores about 144-143 for Bill and Ben. Ugh, Ben Hoy, I think they wanted a Manalo American to win. And Marcus McDonough of England scores about 146-139 for, it's gotta be Bill and Ben. What? Wesley Ramey? What? Are you kidding me? How the hell did Bill and Ben didn't 
not get in. Are you kidding me? So now there is a what? Wait. Too bad. Wait, too bad. Two or three. Oh no. I think I did a miscount. Tuba had three. Is Tuba had three? Yeah, Tuba had three. Oh no. I did a miscount, didn't I? Yes, I did do a miscount. So it's Tino Fernandez or something. Did I do a miscount? I mean, I did a miscount. Uh, yeah, lose now. So it is three. Oh, okay. So I fucked up. There are eight countries that have 13 wins. Three wins. So that means that... Okay, so... Well, we know the U.S. is number one, Ireland is number two, Australia is number three because of all the rankings. So Cuba, France, Argentina, Italy, and England. England had three? One, two, three. Yeah, okay. So five countries. So France, Argentina, Italy, England, and Cuba. Well, they all fight for the four to eight spots, but fill them in. Okay, the punching accuracy probably was there, but I don't know. I would have went with Philemon. But no, I didn't have to do a walk at decision, but whatever. So, yeah, so now I've got to make sure I get things right. So I'll have to do some research. Anyway, I'm Jeff Diamond. I do. I do. I